Good morning, guys and gals. This is Mike Cricket 113. Happy 4th of July weekend. Happy Independence Day. Um, just a little update on the uh, the uh, random wire, speaker wire. That's the, uh, I made a video uh, months ago. Panasonic, it was, I, it doesn't really matter what brand, but the Panasonic uh, speaker wire uh, that I bought at the local hardware store. And I uh, just had some lengths that I was using for radials. <clears throat> or counterpoises, I should say, and soldered them together. And as you can blurly see, <laughs> there we go. Uh, then I just threw it up the tree here vertically, uh, I would say, for the most part. So anyway, I got a couple comments, and I appreciate the comments and the info and the experiences that others have uh, tried with this. Uh, gentleman uh, said uh, he had really good luck with... Uh, uh, 71 feet and uh, 71 feet got him on 80 meters and uh, I think that's that's probably one of the lengths I'm going to give it a try. I think I'm just going to keep soldering more uh, <laughs> length on here until uh, well maybe that's not a good idea. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens but I think I'm going to definitely go longer like 54 feet or, uh, or 71 feet. 71 feet got the gentleman on uh, 80 meters in the boys portion and uh, and worked well. You just got to be careful because <clears throat> you don't want to when you're making a, a wire and there are there's information out there for these say quote random wires. Uh, there's information out there saying you just want to make sure you're not in the uh, half uh, wave area or or even quarter for that matter. Uh, of any of the bands that you're trying to work whether it be amateur bands or or something else um, So yeah, you just got to there are charts out there uh, To help you out with that Excuse me, but we're gonna do the uh, the 71 feet and give that a try uh, The whole purpose of this is a well you could use it at home for me and uh, B to uh, to bring when I go camping or Poda for that matter now at this point here at 39 feet that I have uh, You know, I threw this up vertically just to try it most people on a wire are gonna be in the horizontal slash sloper position and uh, Wow, the maters are getting pretty big there. That's good um, But yeah, you know with the 71 feet I that was that will you know go up and over a limb uh, inverted V and that's okay to do with an end fed you could totally do that and with the 71 feet I think I'm gonna have to from what I heard I'm gonna have to put a uh, another piece of wire on here for a counterpoise uh, but we'll test both we're gonna tr try to test both we're gonna do the with and without and see what the uh, see what the differences are um, and uh, yeah, and the counterpoise piece, which would be on the ground section here, uh, would be about 15 or 17 feet. Now, I have here on the LDG 9 to 1, this is a one foot uh, RG8X uh, or RG8 jumper. And this is the uh, MFJ 1915 1 to 1 bow, and there's 50 uh, little toroid beads, like tiny ones. They look like something on a necklace. Uh, inside here and then that's going to uh, that is going to my RG8X uh, coax which is at 50 feet whoa there's lots of quotes there at 50 feet <laughs> up and around and down because I had it mounted to the gutter as you can still see over there but anyway so we're gonna give that a try at 71 feet and see how that performs this one so far it's I thought it was working on uh, 80 meter 75 meter haven't been able to make a contact on it yet. I should try over the weekend, maybe testing it with a local, see what happens. Uh, so I think that's where I'm, it's too short. It's too short, obviously, for uh, for 75 meter. I mean, that makes sense. Uh, half wave on 75 is roughly or anywhere between 126 and 133 feet or something like that. I forget exactly. Uh, basically, what you do is you get for me, it would be like taking 468 divided by, let's say, the center of my portion, uh, 3.900 megahertz, and that will give you your, your exact half wave. Now, with a random wire, like I said, we don't want to do that, whatever that equals to, we don't want to do that number. You want to have it 
either above or below uh, or even a little bit more below in this case we're gonna do the 71 feet and uh, it should work with the 9 to 1 with the 9 to 1 so that should match your impedance a little bit so you should be able to work said band and uh, with the tuner and without now some of the frequencies on this already uh, some of the frequencies on this already uh, like 10 meter and 12 meter the SWR on the Yesu directly from this box and that uh, that <laughs> to the radio with without going through another tuner the MFJ Versa tuner in the shack on 10 and 12 meter I'm running around a, a, a 1.7 to 2.0 SWR um, on 15 meter it's bloody perfect and I've made contacts on it it's bloody perfect it's like 1.2 1.3 so that kind of makes sense with 39 feet because uh, uh, I believe half wave on 15 meters around 21 feet so this may be like I don't know I can't math very well but right around 5 8 wave I guess and running it vertical no problem uh, so where are we at here? So 17 meter, eh, not so much. It's kind of like more, uh, sorry, it's kind of like more the, uh, uh, you know, 1.8 to 2.1 area, which is fine, you know, that, you know, with amateur radio, you can get away with that. And I was running like 50 watts as test. Uh, this unit will take up to 300 watts, I believe. But uh, yeah, it's all good, it's all good. And then we go went to 20 meter, I made a contact, my first contact on this wire to that special event station I told you about in Quebec. Uh, and then what else do we got there? We got 20, I don't do 30 meter. Um, so I went to 40 and it worked really good. So it worked really good on 40. Uh, SWR was low and I think that's about the uh, extent of it here. Uh, that's for this length for the 39 feet that was the extent of it so nothing over 40 like I said I tried it on 80 couldn't make any contact so we're gonna go with a longer wire so anyway that's the update so this is part two I guess of the random wire and this probably will turn into a series until we get something that's gonna work well for you know everyday use and or uh, when, my, when I go out and about because this is really a small kit you just coil up your coax that that doesn't take up a lot of space that won't and then uh, at work I'm make I'm gonna be making these uh, uh, wire and probably paracord uh, holders you've seen them out there they look like uh, when we were kids the kite used to hold the kite string you know I'm just gonna make a couple of those at work and uh, and then uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So this is Mike Craig at 113. Sorry, the long video, but I just wanted to explain where we are. And uh, let me turn the camera around here a little bit. Yeah, I just want to explain where we are. And uh, happy Fourth, happy Independence Day. And uh, be careful with those fireworks. Uh, <laughs> you don't want to be taking off any of your hands because how are you going to push the PTT button? Have a good one. Seven three. Bye bye.